Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the Elise Easy Show, but another episode of Tea Break. Tea Break. What the, <laughs> f- what the fuck is a tea break? Tea Break on the Elise Easy channel. I am your host, Elise Easy, and today I'm joined by my co host, Evangelina Skov. All right, mate, how are you doing? No, I didn't know I'd been promoted to co host, so that's nice. <laughs> On this segment, I, did I not tell you that I'm only planning to do this segment with you? No, you do, You don't really tell me things. You just uh, allude to them. <laughs> okay, you're the co-host on this one. Callum's the co-host on the History Channel. And Kay is the co-host on the conspiracy ones when we get round to it. Got it? Saw it? Lovely, yeah. But before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. Do you like smelling good? Who doesn't? Am I right? But sometimes there's just so much to choose from when it comes to fragrances that my poor little puny brain can't handle all the choice. That is where Scentbird comes into it. Scentbird is a place for you to begin or deepen your relationship with fragrances, to find out what you like, what turns you on, what makes you tick, to discover your style or just build your collection. Scentbird is a place for you to express your individuality through the power of fragrance. Scentbird lets you try out a new designer fragrance, just test it, see if you like it for $17 every month. Every month you will pick what you want to receive so there's no surprises. They have perfumes, colognes and unisex options. With each fragrance you will get a 30 day supply of mini vials. So you can try them out before committing to a full size bottle. Because some of those full size bottles cost a lot. They can cost between 150 to 300 to 500 dollars. All you need to do to discover new fragrances is to take a quiz on Scentbird. Based upon your preferences, previous purchases and quiz answers, they'll help you find the fragrance that you love. Scentbird carries Prada, Gucci, Versace, and niche brands like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. Scentbird has also just rebranded, so you'll be receiving these beautiful new cases. Look at them, look at them twirl. Aren't they lovely? So what are you waiting for? Use my special promo code, Aleezy2, to get 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That makes it just a little over $7 for your first month. Available in the USA and Canada. Thank you, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's video. Check out the links below, and then let's get on with it. Okay, well, this should at least be consistent because there's always new shit going on every week. So what I want to talk about today and I only really want to talk about this because I saw, do you know Critical? Moist Critical? Yes. I saw him talking about it. So I'm just going to copy Charlie's channel, whatever he talks about. The dream face reveal situation. Yeah, it's an absolute mess. It's just, I don't like this situation. I'm not a fan of it and I hate everything about it. That's my take. <laughs> so what do you know about Dream? Because I looked at this channel because I, aw- I was aware of him in the way that sometimes a drama alert or a death noodles video will pop up on my recommended and it'll be like, uh, like he got into some controversy. So he was on my radar. I knew he existed, but he's a Minecraft YouTuber and surprise, surprise, Minecraft YouTube channels aren't really my cup of tea. They're not really my thing. But I looked at his channel and the guy has 30 million subscribers and his videos get like 50 million views. Yeah, I'm in the wrong genre <laughs> entirely. Why am I trying to do deep dives on bad books? I should be doing Minecraft. Listen, I did like gaming videos before I did commentary and for a while all I was playing was Minecraft and it never popped off. So it's not guaranteed, okay? (laughs) Don't just think. Dream is special or something, I don't know. Well, like I know about him because my brother is eight. So he watches Dream. (laughs) I don't mean that in an insulting way, but you know, like a lot of kids like Minecraft channels and they are like aimed at kids. Mm -hmm. So... He talks about all those YouTubers. And then also, obviously, he comes up on, like, Twitter every now and again. I don't know about his controversies. I think they were, like, stuff like he was using some kind of cheat in Minecraft. Like, it's not, like, an actual, like... Is that it? Yeah, it's not, like, I racism don't. or something. Piss it's just, off. I think. I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so, like, you know, that's subject to change if we're given new information. But yeah. if it is just the cheating scan, shut up. Because I see that a lot, too. <laughs> like, wasn't there some Twitch stream recently where people, wait, was this a thing? Did I dream this? People who uh, who get, what's Did the Did you word? dream it? Did I dream oh. it? Did I dream it? 
what's the what's the word when people get told that they're doing accused that's <laughs> fucking hell people who get accused of using cheating hacks on twitch were all invited to do a big twitch stream all together like all the potential cheaters on was what? this a thing that actually happened i've never heard of this but if it isn't it should be that sounds amazing i'm who so can cheat sure the that best? this happened but that yeah people get into look unless you're on a team and you're doing it profession not professionally competitively okay like cheating shouldn't be allowed but if it's just like a stream of you and your friends and you use this about who cares it's not killing anyone also like it's minecraft <laughs> how, how do you cheat in minecraft i don't get it i don't know i think there's like something you can turn on for no fall damage there was a youtuber a minecraft youtuber who got in controversy for having a thing on where they wouldn't take fall damage. I don't know who it was, but there's a chance that it could have been Dream. I probably should have fact-checked this before we started recording. Imagine caring about that. Did you ever play Age of Empires? I think when I was really young. There's a cheat, there's a code you can use. I think it's like Aegis, like A-E-G-I-S. And you know it takes ages for them to like chop the wood and take the wood back to the whatever, the camp. Um, it just speeds that process up so it happens immediately so they just like walk back and forth okay with, uh, do you reckon there's any Age of Empire YouTubers out there who like, use that and get into that big scandals because I'd do that I mean there's some just games quicker. where it's okay to cheat it's accepted like Sims like, everybody's fucking cheating because it's Sims I just think Minecraft YouTubers have a lot of kids following them this is the issue <laughs> Well, that goes into what the issue actually is, right? Because so he was a faceless st streamer, YouTuber, whatever, and he did a face reveal. Mm -hmm. And people have shat the bed yeah. over this face reveal, basically. You know what, actually, I was reading about like this article before this started about why he was doing it. And you know why he decided to do a face reveal? No. He wanted to, like, there was a couple of reasons, but one of them was he wanted to be able to meet up with other, like, YouTube streamer friends in real life. Is that not so sad? I don't, I don't get it. Like, Why he wanted to be able Why to meet up with the other. Because if they're also, like, big streamers that everybody knows, they'd be taking pictures of that streamer and be like, who's this person hanging around? And then, like, figure out it was him anyway. The other th part of it was that he it was going to help his career. Like, he'd get more opportunities and collaborations and stuff like that if he was able to show his face. But there was just a part of it of, like, being able to meet up with people. IRL or whatever. But they could do... But he could do that regardless and just not take pictures with people. No, but or... other people might take pictures of them. I don't know. There's a British YouTuber called Memulus. Mem Memulus? Memulus? I think it's Memulus. Hangs out with... Memul Memul Probably <laughs> Memulus. Um, who hangs out with, like, like Will and E and that lot, right? Mm -hmm. And he goes to conventions with those guys and he's never been. He's never been rumbled. But that's Cause the he's UK. Anonymous. It is a different okay. culture. Yeah, 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 all right. Yeah, all right. Okay. So that's part of the reason and also potential sponsorships and brand deals. So he did this face reveal and people were being awful. Horrible. About it. Horrible. Wasn't Twitter really bad? You're on Twitter, so did you see? Yeah, <laughs> Didn't you see I saw shit? it as it was happening and like literally, I don't follow anything to do with Dream, but it was still all over my timeline. Like people being like, oh my God, he's so ugly. Like what's wrong with him? Like everybody's saying he looks like Shane and Ryland's child, which is like, that's me, <laughs> first of all. But like, I saw one person say he was hot and everybody else was like, what's wrong with his face? He looks ugly and then like making fun of his jaw. So. I mean, I did think when I saw his, his face reveal, I did think he looks a little bit like Shane Dawson did 14 or so years ago. Mm. And may I remind everyone, so many people on the internet thought Shane Dawson 14 years ago was attractive. I guess because he was popular or like whatever. But he looks like a normal, he looks like a normal dude. That yeah. if you went to the shops, he would just be in like, I don't know, CEX, like in the game shop or whatever. He looks like a normal person. Can I, I derail very slightly because I have to yeah. tell you something? I was in CEX yesterday. 
to buy a game and they were so weird in there it was like a bunch of them they didn't know what was going on i was one of the games i was trying to buy there was an issue with the stock or something and they needed the manager i was like it's fine i'll just leave it i'll get the other games i'll come back another day and then they the guy behind who i wasn't even dealing with he had a bag of like cookies from centra and he's like do you want one i was like no (laughs) (laughs) absolutely not this is so weird anyway going back to the main point i just had to get this out yeah he looks so normal like he's not ugly he doesn't look terrible like he just looks fine even if he did look let's say objectively unattractive right Mm. even if he did look butters in what universe is it okay for just everyone like some mass bully on twitter yeah even even if he was unattractive why would that suddenly like what's the guy done that makes it okay to okay maybe this is a bit hypocritical of me i think I think it's fine. Why are my headphones echoing? It's really off-putting having to listen to my voice. I think I kind of think it's a free-for-all to make fun of how Anision looks, but that is purely because he made his entire Anision speech channel um, being mean to girls and and how girls look. Like he is horrific when it comes. So I think it's fine to sort of metaphorically throw eggs at Anision and make fun of like that guy's appearance. Mm. But generally. I don't think it's okay. I don't think it's on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's you know. just like, there's no point to it. And like the other argument is like, even if you hate a dream or whatever, like I don't think he's done anything terrible as far as I'm aware. So like, just be mm. chill with him, like treat him like a normal person. But even if he had done something terrible and you thought it's okay, what if somebody looks like dream? <laughs> Like, they look exactly like him and they see everybody going like, oh my God, what's wrong with his face? And then they're like, oh no. <laughs> And they feel all bad. You know what I mean? So what you're saying is, <laughs> poor Shane Dawson. Poor Shane Dawson seeing <laughs> all of this, thinking, oh God, oh God, what about me? Exactly. Just, it's it's so it's so weird. The reaction was so big. It was all over, mm-hmm. all over the place. And I don't I don't understand. It's don't just like it. this poor boy. Yeah, like I, it's what you said exactly. Like, why did everybody decide? Yeah, this is fine. Let's just like bully him on twitter just for because we can why not like he is like still a person who's gonna read this like he's not a cartoon character even though he has been for a while but he's not like he's gonna see it and he's young right like he must be in his early 20s i th- yeah Pre- imagine, he looks about 21 or something imagine being between 21 and 23 and going on twitter and seeing thousands upon thousands of people calling you ugly imagine I would simply disintegrate. I'd I would delete my chat. I would, if I'd been that age, you know, and mm. I think like with, with age comes a bit less insecurity because I, I was like well insecure when I was in my early 20s. And now I'm just like, oh, whatever, I don't give a shit, mate. But, mm-hmm. you know, but imagine, imagine that young and just so many people are roasting your career. And for what? Because he plays a little kiddies game. I don't, I, I don't understand. It, like, it just must be something to do with, like, the whole faces YouTuber thing is weird anyway. Like, it's people get so obsessive with trying to figure out, oh, who's this person? Let's, like, dox them and find their face. So it just has to be something, like, they, they've just been so obsessed with seeing what this person looks like. Like, it's like they have to give an opinion immediately and it has to be the most extreme one. Whereas, like, if he'd been showing his face from the beginning nobody would be commenting on his face there's like nothing standing out about it even if there was like everybody would be just like whatever and i guess when you don't see someone's face and then suddenly you do the 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 expectation you have is never really it's never really going to match up to the reality i suppose because people would have overhyped it in their i don't the whole thing is very this is very odd yeah. like from this this whole i don't really I don't get it. But that also leads into, um, this reminds me of the corpse husband mm-hmm. stuff because he's another faceless YouTuber and he's someone that has established this boundary, like tried to establish a boundary with the internet that he doesn't want his face out there because he doesn't feel, he doesn't even need a reason. He just doesn't want it out there and that's fine. And then I saw that some obsessive obsessive fans have looked him up and like stalked his family members socials to try to find pictures of him and supposedly there have been a few pictures of him because i looked on google and stuff maybe i'm part of the problem like adding to google's like search index for the shit 
uh, and people were taking I don't even know if it was him but they were taking this person that they'd found on one of his relative socials and they were being like oh look how he looks oh he's, he's gross like firstly that might just be a random person that you are dabbing on for no reason secondly what the what the fuck <laughs> yeah no I've seen the pictures you're talking about and it's still like it might not even be him like it could just be somebody else but why are you doing that in the first place? Why do you need to know what this man looks like? Like, what is the purpose of it? I get, like, he's super popular and that is controversial in and of itself. But, like, why do you care? Like, he just doesn't want his face out there. Shut up. And even if that is him, why does it matter? Why can't fandoms just let accept boundaries being placed? I don't know. You'd think they would as well because, well, I guess a lot of the people who were doing, like, the corpse husband stuff specifically, like, they just didn't like him because he has, like, a mm. huge following of people who don't like him. Um, it makes Why? sense. Well, because he's so popular, so people want to be, like, what's the, you know, when you're contrarian. They want to be contrarian. Sure. So he's popular, so I don't like him because the, the, like, okay, don't like who you like. <laughs> but I... <sighs> I forgot where I was going with it. I got annoyed and forgot where I was going with that sentence. <laughs> that contrarian attitude, that's basically me with any kind of popular TV show that I don't like the look of. I've never watched Game of Thrones. And when the Game of Thrones ending disappointed almost everyone, I was like, ha, so as you're all right for I liking it. I love the ending. The ending really? was great. Yeah. I thought it was the best season besides like the fuck up with like the coffee cups or whatever. But like, I thought it was good. <laughs> Well, spoiler alert, I mean, I've, I've not seen it. I've not seen it. And yet when this happened, it was just all over the place. So, you know, I know I know what happens. I just don't like that they kept killing the dragons off because I just, I was ready to like email the RSPCA or Peter about it, <laughs> you know, because I don't like that because it is a for I, I really do believe that animals dying in media is such a form of emotional manipulation. And it's so, it's so fucking obvious. Like if there's a dog in a film, the dog dies. It's like, oh, shut up like do, do it's such an obvious emotional manipulation tactic that i have no time for it mm -hmm. like i'm not going to include if i ever made a movie i wouldn't include any animal deaths at all fair enough yeah no i do get it but at the same time I, I we shouldn't go off too much about game of thrones but i liked that it was like it was just leading up to the spoilers very much spoilers like Daenerys' mental breakdown essentially so like it was mm -hmm assisting that in the story so i liked it i just liked it i don't think about stuff too much it's just like if i like it great if i don't well ah sure i can be really emotionally disconnected from loads of things but the one thing that really gets me going is the attack on titan ending like i'm literally never gonna forgive i won't tell you what okay. happens but have you been watching the anime i, I have, started I have season one and then i forgot to finish it and this was about five years ago so i keep meaning to watch it don't bother I like, literally don't like don't bother because it's that if you have any respect for the craft of storytelling, <laughs> the end the ending itself he did such a one eighty. It's basically it's satire. It's a spit in the face for like because what people need to understand about Attack on Titan, right? Like I have actually I'm in group chats with some of my friends and they know how much it winds me up because they'll like like just be like oh what's going on with the anime and I'm like I don't want to hear about it. Don't talk to me about it. Just don't because. Iziyama doesn't deserve any more of my headspace than he took up for years, right? He don't deserve it. And I have left group chats with my mates if they refuse to stop like, mentioning it. <laughs> and then I get re-added back later after I've calmed down because it just, it really, oof, it might, well, I can go on about so... You're quite connected to media then, <laughs> it seems. Well, that what people need to understand about that one is it, the, the manga itself lasted for 10 years there were years of my life I was waiting every month for, you know, on the, the date of like the new manga release every single month. If this had been something that it was on TV and I binged watched it within a few days and it had a bit of a shit ending, okay, fine, whatever. But when you have consistently committed to every single month waiting for like the new chapter to come out and for the last year and a half, the storytelling quality was going downhill. Um, and you like... You, a lot of us were predicting where it was going and to see the predictions fully come to fruition it was such a shit show <laughs> but apparently um it I, let's not get into it let's not get into it it's just don't i would say just literally don't bother you might be able to enjoy it because like you, you'll be able to binge watch it in in a week or so so you might be able to enjoy it but 
like there's Steins Gate. Steins Gate did like storytelling perfectly. Steins. Watch that what instead. Is Steins Steins. Oh, it's so good. It's this anime. Uh, it was originally this like graphic novel game that got made into an anime, and it's about this um, crazy scientist making a time machine out of his microwave. And it's so it's literally is what is my favorite anime of all time. It's so good. The first 12 episodes are like notoriously slow and they do that on purpose so they can just like gut punch you. It's so good. Like it, it did it well. There's no excuse for Izayama. I will never forgive him for the end. Like I will literally never read anything that he's written ever again because it's like, but because he knows that he wrote a bad ending because he can write good. He knows what he did. <laughs> oh, he just funny. wanted his money so he could go open an onsen somewhere. Anyway, dream. <laughs> dream space reveal. We were on corpse. That's what we were on. <sighs> dream space. Right. Dream space. I just don't, I don't, un- I don't understand the audacity of people. Like, why are you engaged in a mass billion some boy for having a very normal face? And even if you didn't have a normal face, why are you engaging in mass bullying someone with a little bit of a maybe unusual abnormal yeah, like, it, it's just they don't see these people as people. That's, like, the biggest issue. They're not people to them. And, like, I just... I keep imagining how sad he would be. He'd open the app, see that he's trending. Like, it was hashtag face reveal and Shane Dawson were trending. And, like, he opens it and sees that those two are connected, first of all. And then also, like, that people are just, like, talking shit about him. Like, I scrolled through it. I couldn't find anything, like neutral it was all just mean the only like nice thing i saw was one person that i follow on twitter and that was it like the poor guy it's just mean and then like the corpse stuff as well like it's i get it because people want to like it's this weird vendetta people have like they want to prove that he's not good looking because Mm -hmm. everybody fancies his voice like all these girls really fancy his voice and like people have seen his hands and they think his hands are really hot i think this is a straight girl thing i don't get it oh (laughs) stop no that's just the fucking people on the internet being weird thing but actually just stop (laughs) okay so you can confirm this isn't all straight women right we're looking at the like being like oh yeah hands Ooh, i don't know I can't. I, d- I don't think I've ever looked at a pair of hands and like, <laughs> no, do, no, maybe it is a straight. But oh, I don't. I don't know. Okay, so recently I've been. Um, I swore I would never continue the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy, but actually I've decided to torture myself and do the second book. Mm-hmm. And the amount of times like his long fingers are mentioned, and even in the Divergent you know, tr- uh, four, he has like you know, big hands and long fingers, and that kind of like turns Triss on. Mm-hmm. This goes over my head. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I've never looked at someone's finger, like, because I don't care about hands. I've never looked at, my hands are massive, to be fair. Like, look how big. <laughs> if I was a book character, I'd be like, at least he's long. My hands are so big. It's actually disgusting. Oh my God, I'm going to start, like, writing some kind of fan fiction about you go on about your hands, like, an intense <laughs> detail, like, really creepy detail. These piano playing fingers, like, they are actually pretty good when it comes to guitar, because, like, my hands are, like, abnormally, like, I'm five foot eight, leave me alone, all right? <laughs> Um, yeah, my I point think it was is, with the my, hands that, like, I think it's a woman thing or like a straight woman thing I don't know <laughs> the reason anyway was because like people are trying to prove that he's not good looking because everybody fancies him because of his voice and his hands and it's like mm-hmm. so they have to go out of their way to try and like dox him and his family and find pictures that may or may not be him just to prove Look, that's not see the how you fancied then the like that's the art that's the whole argument that's the amount of brain cells going into that argument. Oh my god! Didn't people do the same thing with Leafy as here? I don't know. Did they? Like some teen girls, I think, really liked his voice, and then when he started, uh, uh, his face started appearing in places. People, maybe that's different. No, that's different though, because his channel very much was taking the piss out of just being really toxic and taking the piss out of people who clearly had. I don't know something else going on. So maybe that's a bit different, actually. Yeah, but like with like Dream, he's just a Minecraft YouTuber. Like the, he's harmless. He's harmless unless he's done something terrible. Unless that he's I don't... actually, unless he's secretly a nonce. Yeah, he's harmless and it's fine. Yeah, like just leave him alone. Stop making him trend because you've decided he isn't a supermodel. Like, why do you expect him to be a model? 
He's just like a regular dude who plays Minecraft for a living. What do you expect from him? What were people going on to expect? <laughs> like, genuinely, what were people... Oh, people are so strange to me. I think this is very much a Twitter phenomena as well. Because mm-hmm. Twitter, just anything seems to go. And people love engaging on mass bullying there. They adore it. It's like, I don't... I. I can't wrap my head around it because clearly the people on Twitter, they exist somewhere else, right? They exist in real life and I'm sure they have another, like an Instagram or something. Why is it contained to Twitter? Like what happens to your brain when you go on Twitter? I want somebody to study this, like probe people's brains, put them on Twitter and show them a picture of Dream and see what happens. Like, what the fuck is going on? I'm so confused and I hate it so much. I hate Twitter. I hate Twitter. <laughs> it's Twitter's yeah, me too. fault. And tw- Twitter's a bizarre phenomenon because you're right. Like, you don't meet Twitter people in the wild. In, you you just don't. Yeah. When you, when you go, well, Twitter's, ver- Twitter's very, very strange. Because sometimes when there's controversies, say with comedians, say like, Jimmy Carr had a pretty good, big controversy because of some of his jokes on his uh, Netflix special, his his dark material. Oh yeah, but he was trying which, to like that. He was very clear. He called it. He said, done. "This is my cancelable material, and I hope to get cancelled from this." And honestly, if you went by what people on Twitter said, and I'm convinced it's just the same ten thousand people on Twitter going around trying to dominate the public narrative, um, you'd have thought that everyone would have hated Jimmy Carr when, like you. I don't know, when I spoke to people about it and look, a lot of my friends are in the stand-up circuits and comedian circles and stuff, everyone was kind of like, yeah, it's a bit blown out of portion, isn't it? You know but what? You... I don't like Jimmy Carr. But only because I, I just don't like one-liners. I just It's not for me. I can't. Like, it's too much happening. I lose focus. <laughs> I, think, I think he's all right. He's not my favourite. I think, I think he's... Like he's he's there to do dark comedy. Some people don't like that, but some people do. Yeah, like that, you know. But then you get on Twitter, people writing these tweets, and it's like one of ten at the end, and they'll note all the people that Jimmy Carr has has been mean to, including um, including people who are like he's made jokes about people who are terminally ill. But then he said that he says these same jokes at the places where people are terminally ill, like the the kind of like end of life care places, and they laugh about it like i've known lots of people to have really serious illnesses and they make a joke of it because that's their way of just dealing with it and who is someone who like maybe is totally healthy on twitter like who are you to say well you can't make a joke about you having a life-threatening illness even though in the like almost everyone i know that has had some sort of like life-threatening issue has made jokes about it Mm-hmm. I had a car crash in France and I was making jokes about it. This is just what, like, this is what a lot of humans do to deal with tragedy. Yeah, no, like, it's not going to be the same for everybody, but a big majority of people, something bad happens to them. They're like, how do I cope with this? I'm going to laugh at it. At the- Fine, like, let him make jokes. If he goes to, like, a hospital with terminally ill people and they're like, actually, this isn't funny, can you stop? And he keeps going, then maybe then he's call an him asshole. a cunt. Like, can I say yeah. that on here? Sorry, I don't. I don't give a shit. Okay, this is like the third channel. Who cares? Okay. At this point, I thought this was the second channel. Yeah, my third channel does so much better than this channel. So this is now it's the been third demoted. <laughs> yeah, it has. Um, no, you're absolutely right. Like, if someone, it, it's a joke. If other people are laughing, like it's a prank. If other people laugh, if people don't laugh at the prank, then you're just being a swat. Mm-hmm. but as long as like some people are like, I don't know Twitter is such a weird ecosystem which is why I just don't want anything to do with it everything is so hyper sensationalised mm-hmm. over there whether it's this or something else happening in the news or it's 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 such an extremist website mm-hmm. where like, the more extreme opinions get the most retweets quote tweets and likes I just don't understand why like I, I know I'm repeating myself but these people exist somewhere else. So what? Why is it Twitter? I don't get it. Why are you obsessing about these people on Twitter? Why are you insane? <laughs> Please stop. Get get your brain together. Fix it. Be normal. Feels weird to me. People like to complain about the censorship on Twitter. Well, I just don't use it, right? Um, and free speech and and all that kind of stuff. Which I I understand all sides of the argument because I'm well smart in it. But 
half the stuff said on Twitter, you wouldn't be able to get away with it on YouTube. Like, imagine if we'd done a video right now just really roasting Dream about his appearance. It would probably be taken down for harassment and bullying. Mm -hmm. But on Twitter, it's almost this free-for-all. It's a smorgasbord of garbage opinions mm -hmm. getting promoted actively. It's a bit like TikTok as well, because the TikTok comment sections, they, like... I ain't tripping. Like, they are not moderated. They cannot be. They are so... TikTok comment sections are so harsh and you just wouldn't be able to get away with it on YouTube or maybe even Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like, or even Facebook actually. And so Facebook is like a website for terrible opinions. But I've had like comments of, comments of mine being rude to people, like being deleted by Facebook's moderators. But TikTok and Twitter, they're just... Well, Twitter has started doing this thing now. I've had it happen to me a few times where like I try and tweet. I'm not even like being mean to somebody. I've just like said fuck or something and it stops me mm. and it's like most people don't tweet like this would you like to edit your tweet I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about and then it gets put in the like the hidden tweets so you have to click mm. the see hidden so it's like it's they're trying but like it's not gonna work if you just like you're censoring swear words you know like i get what they're trying to do i don't agree with it but i get what they're trying to do but it's like yeah, but like somebody saying you're ugly and your jaw is weird and you look like the guy from Shrek. Like that's not going to be picked up by Twitter's shite. But on the TikTok thing, TikTok is also insane. I think they're the new Tumblr though. Mm. Which is without like the porn. No, I think I think so. Oh my god, you just you just said that. Do you have any idea who Stephen Bear is? I don't think so. He's a reality TV star from the UK. He's been on like, I think he's been on X on the Beach and he dated Charlotte Crosby from Geordie Shore for a while. Oh. And I saw a TikTok, right? That was like, oh, I was just wondering what Stephen Bear was up to. So I went on his Twitter and oh my God, I can't believe it. And at first it really pissed me off because it was just this TikTok that just kept looping with, with that paragraph. And I was like, why the fuck didn't you just show? <laughs> like, it's so annoying. Now I'm going to have to open a new and I'm going to have to look on Twitter to see what's it. That is so like, fuck you. But, and then afterwards, after I went through Stephen Bear's Twitter, I was like, oh, I see what, okay, I retract everything. I'm a terrible person. Um, He's fully like on Twitter, just doing full porn. Like shagging his girlfriend, getting his dick sucked in the shower, um, like having his girlfriend, d this video is going to get flagged immediately, having his girlfriend rim him on a beach somewhere, like full, I was I was there for a good like 20 minutes just like, and it was getting worse and worse and I was like, and it was like two in the morning and I was trying to like text me but I was like, oh my God, have you like go look at Stephen Bear's Twitter? Just, uh huh? How is that allowed on Twitter? I'm confused. How is like, there were like full 20 second like video clips of him just, do I don't get, what? Yeah, I, I don't remember what it was that I saw, but I do remember the first time I saw nudity on Twitter and I was like, this is allowed? <laughs> I didn't know this. What the fuck? I was flabbergasted. I was actually shocked. Actually genuinely shocked. Like I could have gone the rest of my life without seeing Stephen Bear shag his girlfriend. Or getting rimmed. I think that's the worst part of it. <laughs> on a beach. And like, seriously, I think it was like, I like maybe watched a few seconds of it and I just thought, who the, who is filming this? Who, who is Is who there, is there somebody like there moving with... the camera? There's someone standing there because he's like near, the, he's like in the sea. <laughs> just <laughs> get in the sea, mate, and just go. Like someone is filming it with the, I'm just what? imagining them with like their trousers like rolled up so they can stand in the water without getting <laughs> just like standing there at the camera. But then I kind of thought, is this just not maybe the natural progression of some reality TV stars? Because like, are we going to see, after Charlotte Crosby's had her baby, are we going to see her do stuff like this? Because she did shag someone on TV for Geordie Shore. You couldn't see anything because it was like kind of the CCTV that's within oh, the that house. Oh, that was you her. Know, like, black and... Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's had like sex on... Is this not the natural progression for some reality TV stars? But at the same time, it's kind of weird because it's like, I've seen you on TV. And now, unfortunately, I've seen your bare butt, like, surrounded by loads of... There was a video of him, like, surrounded by... This is what I mean. It just kept getting more and more graphics. So I was like... Surrounded oh by my what? God. What was he surrounded by? Loads of dildos. Just like, like... He just... He did, like, this unboxing with, like, so many dildos. And there was this one dildo that was, like, like powered. It was doing this, like... <laughs> well i have watched like trisha paytas's unboxings of these things from like adam and eve and stuff 
Dude, so. I've seen her OnlyFans. They did it for a video, and I don't know. I don't know why I went for a phase of doing. Oh yeah, because it got loads of That's views. That's how I found re- your channel. It's actually yeah. Me doing only- <laughs> I can't believe I did that shit. <laughs> you did a lot of those. <laughs> I know. I really just went through. <sighs> Some people got like millions of views on their videos. Of, and I've never got a million views on any video. I feel very left out. And I feel like I was really working for that million views. I was doing everyone's. I was doing Nicocado Avocados, Hiding in My Rooms, Trisha Paytas's, Tana Mojo's. I did them all. You could just title this Reacting to Dreams Only Fans or something. And then you'll get a million views. I'll also get like millions of irate people disliking the video. Actually, that could be pretty good. That's That'd good for good your payday. engagement. So... Should I actually, should I have balls of steel and actually do it? No, because OnlyFans in the title might demonetize the video. And honestly, what's the point of getting a million views if you're not going to get any money? Yeah, that's, I don't even know how much money you would make from a video with a million views, to be quite honest with you. I've tried to do the maths in my head, but then I get confused. So I just can't do it. It depends on your CPM. Yeah, but then when because I start everyone's... trying to multiply and I just, I'm like, I'll, I'll figure it out later. I'll take out a calculator. I'll do this properly. <laughs> no, I can tell you. Won't tell the audience. Okay, you tell me after. I want to know. <laughs> tell you the. I can tell you the basic amount. <laughs> okay, please do tell me, and then I can feel really sad about my prospects in life. Which, how much money is like dream making? I guess maybe that's part of it as well, because people think, yeah, you're so rich and you're doing all this stuff on YouTube. Doesn't matter if we bully you. I'm ashamed to say that when I saw the amount of views his channel was getting, I went onto a social blade and I was like, because I love like the numbers and data and an- analytics and like the st- statistics and stuff. And for someone like him, he's doing Minecraft. It's a kid's channel. It's going to be very brand friendly. And he's getting like 50 million views a video. The, what, what would the standard be? What's... Oh, I don't know what the standard CPM is because I know what my, I've worked out what my CPM is and it's very, it's, it's good. Um, but some big channels have really, really poor CPM if they're not brand or advertiser friendly enough. But like for him, it must be really good. It, like it must be at least, I don't know, he's got 30 million, but I don't, I don't know. Like I don't want to make shots in the dark. He must be getting like at least a minimum of 20 pounds per thousand views. He must. Yeah. I can't imagine it would be under that. I would, like, but I don't want to like really overestimate either. So he's making lots of money, is the conclusion. <laughs> yeah, the problem with Social Blade is it has a um, it has a like a cap on CPM. So when you see this channel is predicted to be making between like twenty pounds to two hundred grand a month, there's a cap on that two hundred grand because I think they only got up to like seven pounds per CPM, mm-hmm. which is not. Yeah, it's not really. It's not really. I thing. think my social blade thinks I make like seventy quid a year, so it's just not accurate. Like, how am I paying my rent? <laughs> how am I, I doing? I don't, this? I don't know if mine's accurate because I haven't checked mine because my channel's just been on like a standstill for so long. But yeah, it really depends on how brand how brand friendly you are, and if someone's a fucking Minecraft YouTuber, that's as brand like, friendly as you can get. Yeah, as long as they're not swearing too much. Which I don't think he does. I think he's one of those no swearing ones. Well, there you go then. He's making absolute bank. So you know what? It's fine. He's but I'm joking. I am joking. Yeah, <laughs> so... Shane Dawson looking ass. I'm <laughs> just joking. I'm joking. That's so yeah. It's not acceptable for no. people to be. That's the takeaway from this video. Stop being mean to people. I'm gonna have to go because I got a Japanese lesson in like 20 minutes and I haven't done my homework and I do this every single week. Every week, I just don't do my homework until the last hour. Why and then do I always reprimand myself and say, right, I- I'm going to do my homework tonight after this lesson when I when I get my assignment. I never do. Why are you me? <laughs> AJHD, isn't it? Uh, don't know yet. <laughs> Not sure. Well, that was this episode of Tea Break. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure we are also uploading these audios on Spotify and iTunes. So make sure that you go over to them and subscribe and follow Give me a review on i not iTunes Spotify. I don't give a shit about iTunes. I want the Spotify <laughs> the Spotify exclusivity deal. Give me a five star review on there. It's like being an Uber driver in it. Look, five yeah. stars for five stars. And yeah, check out Evangelina's channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.